Hello everyone, I am Shamant Goda, CSAT faculty at Insights. I hereby welcome you once again for the CSAT series, question of the day 14. This question is taken from the concept ratio. The price of gold is directly proportional to the square of its weight. See, price is directly proportional to the square of its weight. A person broke down the gold in the ratio 3 is to 2 is to 1 and sold. He incurs a loss of rupees 4620. Means, see, unbroken gold, if it is intact, then its value is increased. For example, look here now. See, 9 square is equal to 81, right? Okay. If you break this 9 as 4 and 5 and then square, if you add this one, this is nothing but 16 plus 25, isn't it? So, this becomes 41. See, the value reduces, isn't it? Okay, similarly, this has happened here. Initially, the gold was intact. Afterwards, it was broken in the ratio 3 is to 2 is to 1. Means, originally, this was the total number of units of gold. 3 parts, 2 parts, 1 part. So, totally 6 parts of gold was there. If 6 part is there, then the weight, okay, price has to be square of this weight, right? So, the price has to be 36 units or 36 parts, 36 parts, isn't it? Now, he has broken this into ratio 3 is to 2 is to 1. So, for these 3 parts, he will get 9, okay, the price. For these 2 parts, he will get 4. For this 1 part, he will get 1. So, totally this becomes 14, isn't it? If it is unbroken, then its value was 36. If it is broken in this ratio and sold, its value is 14. So, it is depreciated by how much here? 22 parts or else units x, whatever you take. As I have told you in the previous videos also, 22 parts. Okay, This has been reduced by 22 parts. And according to the question, he is incurs a loss of 4620. That is nothing but what? See, 22 parts reduction or else the loss, it's one and the same, isn't it? So, 22 parts, whatever he is losing or reduction is happening, that is equal to according to the question given as 4620 rupees. So, if 22 parts is equal to 4620, one part is nothing but what here, okay? 21 and this is 0, isn't it? If one part value is 21, 210, okay, then the original value was 36, that's what asking, find initial part. Initially, it was 36 parts. So, 36 into 21 or 210, it's nothing but what? 36, 720 plus 36, that is 756. This is the yesterday's bouncer question now. Price of milk is increased by 35%. By how much a lady must reduce her consumption so that her expenditure is increased only by 8%. As I have told you in the last video itself, this is very similar to the length and breadth question. We did it in the rectangular question. Okay. Now, before going to this question, I will explain you some of the basics. See, if this is a rectangle of length L, breadth B, area is equal to length into breadth. Okay. If you keep this area same and if you increase this length, the breadth has to come down. Okay. It is obvious, right? For example, look here now. 120 is a product of 15 into 8 as well as 20 into 6, both, isn't it? 120. If you do 15 into 8, 8 also will get 120. 20 into 6 is also 120 now. Now, you have changed this 15 to 20, means you are increasing this one. If you increase this value, okay, this value has to be decreased, right? Okay, 120 is a result of product of these two. If you increase one of the variable, other has to come down, okay? 15 has become 20 means, look here now, if I take the ratio here, 15 and 20 are in what ratio? 3 is to 4. If this has changed from 3 to 4, this has to change from 4 is to 3. The ratio is 4 is to 3. Look here, 8 and 6 are in the ratio, 4 is to 3 only. Then only 4 into 3, 12, 3 into 4, 12, you get the same thing. Based on the same concept, the question is asked. See, I can say, the expenditure is equal to price into consumption, isn't it? Okay. 
for example let's say the price of onion is rupees 10 per kg okay 1 kg of onion is rupees 10 and you are consuming 5 kgs you are consuming 5 kgs so what is the cost you have to pay 10 into 5 that is equal to rupees 50 that's what the expenditure here right okay now if you keep this expenditure same or else when you have fixed expenditure fixed expenditure look here now if the price is decreased the consumption has to increase right means if the price goes down you will buy more amount of more quantity of onion in the same price isn't it same expenditure now if this comes down to 5 let's say okay rupees 5 per kg if 10 changes to 5 then this has to change 5 to 10 isn't it okay at the place of 10 rupees per kg if it becomes 5 rupees per kg so you'll get how many kgs 10 kgs okay the product of these two also remains same this is what has happened here say if this goes down this has to go up how see look here 10 changes to 5 means can i say this is changing in the ratio 2 is to 1 if this changes from 2 to 1 this has to change from 1 to 2 so 5 and 10 are in the ratio 1 is to 2 only right okay so how they change they change reciprocally we call what is the reciprocal of 2 and 1 1 and 2 isn't it okay you can call this as 2 is to 1 and this is 1 is to 2 or else 2 by 1 and 1 by 2 now using the same technique we'll solve this question now in the last class itself i have told you see how to convert this percentage into fraction okay to convert percentage into fraction you have to divide this by 100 so 35 divided by 100 this becomes 7 by 20. You write 35 percent or else you write 7 by 20 that is one and the same. See if the price of milk is increased by 35 percent or else 7 by 20 means if the original price is 20 now it is increased by 7 means now it has become 27 isn't it or not 27 okay. Now if the price of milk is increased by 35 percent then by how much a lady must reduce her consumption so that her expenditure is increased only by 8 percent only by 8 percent her expenditure is increasing means originally if her expenditure was 100 now her expenditure will be 108 isn't it or not okay here also see we'll apply the same technique here now see expenditure is equal to price into consumption okay expenditure has changed from 100 to 108 that's what 8 percent increase right okay if this changes from 100 to 108 the price is changing from what see the price is changing from 20 to 27 right from 20 if the price changes to 27 that's what 35 percent increase then the consumption has to change from see look here now to get 100 here if this is 20 this has to be 5 right if this is 108 if this is 27 you know what is this one this has to be 4 isn't it or not see look here consumption is changing from 5 to 4 consumption is changing from or else decrease from 5 to 4 means how much is the decrease 1 always compare this one whatever the change is happening 1 or 2 whatever it is always compare it with the original value original value of consumption is 5 this is what comparison here right okay i have explained these things in the previous video also 1 by 5 isn't it this gives me fraction but what is the question here how much a lady must reduce her consumption so that see everything is given in percentage so you have to find it in percentage what is one fifth of 100 this is in fraction if you multiply by 100 you will get percentage so this is nothing but what 20 percent do we have 20 percent yes and this is the bouncer of the day try to solve this question and put the answers in the comment section guys thank you keep on watching the video we'll come up with new questions again thank you we'll meet you in the next video